What's going on my fellow YouTubers? This is Laquita MS and I'm here to review the HTC Evo 4G from Sprint. So here it is. Of course, I've had it for about a few weeks now, maybe two weeks or so. Um, and I like it. It's a really good phone overall. Um, Actually, earlier today, I was debating on trading this phone for the um, Epic 4G from Sprint. I went to the Sprint store, since I'm still within 30 days, and I checked it out, and I didn't want to trade. You know, I was going to exchange, but I decided not to because I think it's better off if I just keep the HTC Evo after playing with the Epic in the store. So, maybe after this review, you'll be able to see if you want to get the Epic or the Evo, you know. And plus... The Epic is, is in stores now. The Evo is the one that's hard to find. But, hey. Anyways, to start my review. Um, externally, this is what the phone is. You see it. Um, I have the case on here, too. I'll take it off just to show you a bit of the phone. Um, the kickstand. So you can watch movies or whatever, you know, you want to do with the phone. Sprint TV and stuff like that. Um, I tried holding the kickstand like this a few times, but obviously it fails. See? won't stay up so yeah um the mix megapixel camera um the flash speaker uh this is your um headphone jack the button sleep button on and off um and power button um and the volume keys up and down and then um the four keys here the four buttons the touch all touch there's no actual button it's just all touch um it's um <clears throat> the home button, the menu, back button, and then the search button. Here's the um, front-facing camera here on top of the um, on top of the Sprint logo, the HTC logo here, and then the screen. So that's basically it, and also the um, the HDMI and the charging port. So um, so now we can get into the phone itself. So let's put my case back on. Okay, so. Overall, like I said, the phone is awesome. I didn't want to trade for that big. Slide to unlock. Slide it down to unlock. Let's start with the top. Let's go to top to bottom. Here's the top here. You got the the time, battery, signal strength, 3G or 4G, and navigation. There's the notification list. Slide it up and down, of course. Um, the weather and time widget. You can choose from different widgets. Um, and I have like my things that I use the most and then the, this is the menu button to get to the menu button I'm in the menu and then the phone recent calls and then a dollar um, <clears throat> and then you have to add that's the, the button to add widgets I don't think you can change that I've, I've tried to change that um, a few times but as of right now I had, haven't found a way to change it um, let's just go to the different pages favorites widgets um, music widget and then I have nothing else I don't really have much uh, I found this widget in the um, Android market this for Gmail Just click on it and it takes you directly to your um, Gmail inbox so um, oops, sorry hold on one sec actually I don't know why my Gmail inbox isn't popping up okay yeah here it is so yeah it takes you straight to there um and this page is just friend stream. You can put Facebook and Twitter or just Twitter or just Facebook. It's up to you. And then you can update your status from here too as well. So you just type that and you know. And you're good to go. Um, that's all I really have on my my phone as far as like the pages and everything. Um, I can just go through a few different things as to what the phone has to offer and you know what you can do. <clears throat> I can test out the camera for you guys. Um, camera is pretty good. I would like it to be better, but hey. Um, so let's take a picture, a quick picture, and I'll show you how it works here. So here, there's a picture. I think it's really good quality though, and also what you can do is, let's just, um, You hear that noise? Like that's when you um tap and it auto focuses for you. Um, you can also switch to uh, let's go here. Um, go to settings here and then switch to 
the front facing camera here. So yeah, um, different things you can do with the camera. It's, it's good overall, but I would um, like it to be better than what it is. And there's also no dedicated camera button, which kind of sucks. So every time you want to get to the camera, you would have to click on the screen. You have to add the shortcut and click. Um, there's visual voice voicemail. Um, it holds all your all your voicemail, or you can directly dial into your voicemail by um, dialing the number one key on, from your phone. But um, here's like a uh, just an example of how it is. It works pretty good. So yeah, and you can also um, delete or stop and everything like that. Um, you can put it on speaker, you can take it off speaker, discard it, or call them back because that's the different options you have for the visual voicemail. Um, the picture gallery is pretty cool. Um, has all your pictures and everything here so you know if you want to like scroll up and down you can do all that and then you can just do slide to slide. Uh, has all the videos and everything like that like you know has everything there. And you can also hit menu button and you go to settings and you can just take some of the things off so you can do default albums and then um, you can add my favorites or you can just take off all photos you can uncheck everything but um, you know you just do it like that all photos all videos and then you go there or I can take off the videos because that was already on there so then I'll just um, go back and then it'll automatically adjust so you see it removed so um, yeah uh, another thing I like is hand scent that's on every uh, Android phone. So here's the messages list of who I've been, you know, texting or whatever. Um, hand sent SMS is really good because <clears throat> it's actually, um, you can change things around, you can customize it rather than the actual messaging app. So I can just go into, um, into a message and, you know, it's like customized. Like my background says, um, I did download the wallpaper. And it has all the uh, little, you know, the abbreviations that everyone uses and stuff like that. Um, hand sign is cool. It's a really good um, application if you want to edit, you know, your um, messaging. Seismic is awesome. It's a Twitter application. And I think it's the best one on this phone. So, it's compared closely to... Twitter for iPhone. It looks just like it because I've had an iPhone and Twitter for iPhone looks just sort of exactly like this. It may be a little different. Like these were down the bottom and rather than up top. I couldn't remember, but it's sort of just like the same thing. So you're good. But Twitter, Twitter for um, iPhone is just like this one. So if if I were you, I would get this one and use it. I don't like the actual Twitter app for um, this phone, so I rather you know use this. And then you just type your message and you send your tweet. You know what I mean? So it's, it's um it's a pretty good application. I like it. Um, this application is Advanced Task Killer. So everything you have running in the background will be killed um, when you use that. So if I hit that, you know, you it'll show one app killed. Like it just said, <clears throat> a couple of other apps were killed earlier. So it's Advanced Task Killer, and I can show you exactly what it looks like here advanced task killer and you kill selected apps or you know stuff like that um other than that this phone is pretty good i have a different apps and everything that i use that are really good for this phone so like i can show you one astro it um holds all the files that you've downloaded and <clears throat> sort of like a um it's sort of like it keeps all your files together like if you downloaded something you can just go in there and, and, and it'll be right there. Um, let me see what else I have here that I can show you really quick. It's nothing major. I don't really download a lot of applications. So, um, you can download black Blacklist for those who want, don't want calling you. Um, you can just put their names there. You know, I, have, I don't have any right now. So, uh, also another application that I like is, let me see here. Talking Tom. Hello. Hello. You see, basically, it repeated anything I said. It basically does that, and you can actually record and upload that to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you want to upload your video to or save it. 
But other than that, um, the phone is pretty good. I can just show you how to add a few widgets really quickly. Um, I hold on, press down, hold on the blank screen, and I can add a widget. Let's add a HTC um, clock, because this is one I really like that I've actually just been using, but I stopped. Um, this one here. Well, let's just go through all the ones. This clock is pretty cool. Um, but this clock is the one I like. And my city is Philadelphia. And there it is. Uh, the clock is awesome. Really like that one. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you another widget. Widget. And you can do the widget for um, like weather and stuff like that too. Also photo albums and mail. So let's just do another widget for um, like photo albums. So select and then select camera shots and everything will be right there. So you know you just flip 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 and there you go. You have everything there. So it's it's pretty um good. This phone is good. If I were you, I would choose this one over the Epic 4G to be honest. But if you really love the keyboard and love the display of the Epic, then you you should get it. But the Evo is the phone to get. Trust me. Other than that, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. Also, follow me on Twitter at LaquitaMS. And also, you can hit me up with a message on YouTube and I respond. Uh, Facebook is Facebook.com slash LaquitaScales. You can add me on there or send me a message. It's up to you. So, deuces, you guys. Hope you like the review. If not, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing me. Deuces.